The Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas is a luxurious resort and casino located on the Las Vegas Strip. It is known for its iconic fountain show, elegant design and high-end amenities. Let's go back to the Dunes Hotel and Casino, the location where the Bellagio would eventually be built. The Dunes was located on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada. It opened in 1955 and operated until 1993. The Dunes was one of the first luxury hotels on the Las Vegas Strip and was known for its lavish decor and a 150-foot tall sign with neon palm trees. The hotel also featured a nine-hole golf course, a swimming pool and a number of restaurants and lounges. The Dunes was popular with high rollers and celebrities and was known for hosting fantastic parties and events. The Dunes struggled financially in the 1980s and was eventually sold to Steve Wynn and Mirage Resorts for $75 million in 1992. Captain of the Britannia! Are you ready, sir? Prepare broadside! Ready! Aim! Fire! In 1994, Mirage Resorts announced plans to build the French-themed Beau Rivage Resort on the Dunes land. The original budget for the resort was between $700 to $900 million. The resort was set to be a 3,000-room, sky-blue, glassed, tropical-themed hotel and casino. There would be a man-made lake surrounded by hotel towers, which were intended to be the tallest hotel towers on the Las Vegas Strip. The lake would be used for water skiing and windsurfing. Many were opposed to the lake due to the concern of water wastage from the nearby Lake Mead. Steve Wynn claimed the lake would use less water than the dunes' former golf course. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't the Bellagio Italian? You would be correct. The resort's designer, John Jerd, whose notable work includes the Urban Entertainment Centre at Universal City Hollywood, the Pirate Show and Facade of the Treasure Island Resort, and also the Fremont Street Experience. John had been on vacation in Italy on Lake Como and convinced Wynne to visit. After half a day in the Italian village of Bellagio, Steve Wynne was inspired to scrap the French-themed resort in favour of the Bellagio theme. Despite abandoning the original concept, Wynne later opened a resort called the Beau Rivage in Mississippi. The vision for the newly renamed Bellagio was one of a five-star resort, which would cater to tourists who typically visit destinations such as Paris, London and Venice. Wynne wanted to redefine Las Vegas and describe the Bellagio as the most ambitious and luxurious project yet from the Mirage Resorts. Wynne also claimed it would be the most romantic, delicious place ever built in the world. More descriptive words include the greatest and most beautiful hotel ever. No pressure, Steve. In 1995, the project was scaled back and many changes made as part of the theme change, including the reduction to the size of the lake. The lake was intended to be 50 acres instead of the 8.5 acres you can see today. The hotel tower was reduced from 49 storeys to 33. Construction began on the 1st of November 1995 with an original opening date of March 1998. The original budget of $700 to $900 million was far off the mark. The Bellagio cost $1.6 billion to build, making it one of the most expensive hotels ever built at the time. This was in part due to a shortage of skilled workers, which resulted in a rise in labour costs. The attention to detail at the Bellagio included the trees. Teams spent over a year researching the most perfect trees for the resort. Japanese privets were selected as they could withstand the dry Vegas heat. 30 privets were taken from California and replanted at the Bellagio. The trees cost an eye-watering $10,000 each. Very little remains of the dunes, but the resort pool is surrounded by nearly 300 pine trees from the dunes golf course. The Bellagio opened its doors on the 15th of October 1998. A VIP party kicked off the evening. Celebrities in attendance included Michael Jordan, Clint Eastwood, Drew Barrymore, George Lucas and Nevada Governor Bob Miller. 
the VIPs were encouraged to donate to the Foundation Fighting Blindness at $1,000 per person and $3,500 per couple, which would guarantee them a suite in the new hotel. A 40-minute speech from Steve Wynn kicked off the opening celebration, followed by the first performance of Cirque du Soleil's O. The resort opened to the public at 10.45pm and by 1am, 15,000 guests had flocked to the opening night. Upon its opening, the Bellagio was met with widespread acclaim for its elegant design, luxurious rooms and suites, and high-end amenities. Erwin Miloski, Las Vegas developer, said, In our lifetime, we will never see another building or hotel with such beauty and grace. The Bellagio opened with a team of 9,500 employees. At its opening, the resort had 3,005 hotel rooms. The 156,000 square foot casino had 2,700 slot machines and 173 table games. Leading resort attractions included the Fountains of Bellagio, the Botanical Garden Conservatory and Bellagio Gallery of Fine Art. The resort was also home to many luxury restaurants and high-end shops. Revenue in 1999 was $40 million short of the expected $300 million. This meant that plans for an additional 1,300 hotel room tower were put on hold. The Bellagio didn't perform as well as Steve Wynn had hoped, and he exited the resort in May 2000 as a result of the Mirage Resort and MGM Grand Incorporated merger. MGM Grand Incorporated changed its name to MGM Mirage that year. Profits improved under MGM Mirage's management. The Bellagio's cash flow improved, and in 2002, plans for a new tower were back on. The 2004 opening of the new spa tower, located to the south of the main tower, added another 928 rooms. The Bellagio now contained 3,933 rooms. Other additions included in this expansion were another spa, salon, restaurant, meeting and retail space. In 2006, the casino floor was remodelled and new uniforms were issued to a majority of the hotel's employees changing the original colour scheme of vibrant reds and golds to a more subdued beige. The casino was remodelled again in 2018. In 2012, MGM and Sunning Real Estate announced plans to expand the Bellagio name and build a 200-room hotel in Shanghai, which opened in 2018. 2013 saw the opening of a private high roller casino room known as the Villa Privé. In October 2019, MGM Results announced it would sell the Bellagio to the Blackstone Group for $4.25 billion. MGM Results still hold a stake in the venture and manage the operations. The building is leased from Blackstone Group for $245 million per year. One of the most iconic features of the Bellagio is its fountain show, which features over 1,200 fountain nozzles and 4,500 lights. The fountain show is choreographed to music and runs every 30 minutes during the day and every 15 minutes in the evening, attracting large crowds of visitors who come to watch the spectacular display. Until 2010, the Fountains of Bellagio was the largest fountain in the world. It was surpassed by Dubai Bai Fountain and Okada Manila. Under the fountains you can find the Batcave, where a 30-person team of engineers and specialists operate the fountains. Oh, the water-themed Cirque du Soleil show has held a permanent residency at the Bellagio since its opening day in 1998. 85 performers take to the stage and perform to a capacity of 1,800 twice daily. The Conservatory and Botanical Gardens is a stunning floral display located off the lobby of the Bellagio Hotel. The conservatory is open to the public and features beautiful seasonal displays that are changed several times a year. The displays are created by a team of horticulturists and designers who work to create elaborate themed displays using a variety of flowers, plants and other natural materials. The conservatory covers more than 14,000 square feet and includes several different areas, each with their own unique theme. The conservatory also features a variety of sculptural elements such as waterfalls, bridges and other structures, which help to create a sense of wonder and magic for visitors. In addition to the seasonal displays, the conservatory also features a number of permanent installations, including a koi pond and a topiary garden. The conservatory is a popular attraction and is free to visit. The Bellagio Gallery of Fine Art is an art museum located within the Bellagio. The museum features rotating exhibitions of paintings, sculptures and other works of art by a variety of artists, both historical and contemporary. The Fiori di Como is a glass sculpture by Dale Chihuly and the sculpture can be found hovering over your head at the check-in area. It is made up of over 2,000 glass flowers. 
The Bellagio is iconic and it's no surprise that there are many pop culture references. It features in the following films... The fountains also appear in the music video for 24K Magic in which singer Bruno Mars rides a jet ski across the lake while the fountains dance. In 2019, Celine Dion and James Corden performed on the lake singing My Heart Will Go On as part of the carpool karaoke segment of The Late Late Show. That same year, projections and music from Game of Thrones were incorporated into the fountain show. On the morning of September 23rd, 2008, a mattress fire prompted the brief evacuation of the 26th floor as well as portions of the 25th and 27th floors. One guest suffered minor burns and others were treated for smoke inhalation. In December 2010, a helmet-wearing gunman robbed the casino of chips worth $1.5 million. The suspect was later caught and sentenced. In March of 2017, the Rolex jewellery store at the Bellagio was robbed by men wearing animal masks. Carrying sledgehammers, the group smashed their way into the high-end jewellery store. In April of 2017, a section of shops at the north end of the Bellagio Fountains caught fire, caused by a faulty exterior lighting system. Nobody was hurt during the fire, but it did cause $450,000 worth of damage. Due to the global pandemic, the Bellagio closed its doors to guests on the 16th of March 2020. The resort reopened on the 4th of June. Today, the Bellagio remains a popular destination for travellers from around the world, offering a world-class experience in the heart of Las Vegas. So let's end on some fun facts. The Bellagio's wedding chapel hosts more than 600 weddings per year. The water fountains use 22 million gallons of water and if you happen to have a spare $250,000 hanging around, you could take control and choose from the 35 fountain shows. Bellagio's poker room is considered the home base by many professional poker players. It is home to the World Poker Tour's Five Diamond World Poker Classic. The Bellagio is home to the world's tallest chocolate fountain. I would love to hear your views on the Bellagio. Have you stayed at this iconic hotel? Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more Las Vegas casino history. Thank you for watching.